Friday, everybody. It is a beautiful weekend, Friday weekend in November, mid-November. Uh, I am on a spur of the moment trip to do some dispersed camping uh, with my camp buddy Rob and hopefully my son tomorrow will join us. Uh, we're heading out right now. It's a little actually a little late on Friday. It's five o'clock to get out. Um, we're going to the uh, LBJ grasslands uh, for some dispersed camping. Completely clear, cool tonight, probably in the high 30s overnight, and the daytime temps will be in the 60s, but it's going to be clear and sunny for the entire weekend. So it should be awesome. Um, but got everything packed up for a nice uh, dispersed camping weekend. Uh, so looking forward to it and really excited. What about you, Brody? Brody, are you excited? <laughs> Nailed it in one take. Well, uh, we made it to camp. Um, actually got the perfect camp spot that I wanted. Uh, but it was dark when we got in. And so uh, didn't really uh, shoot any video of setting it up because it was just too dark. And um, I'm in my tent now. And my little buddy heater. And my baby is sleeping, super cold. So it's gonna be probably high 30s tonight. Um, so this is my second time in my uh, new tent, Alps Mountaineering Acropolis 4. Um, so tonight I have the full rain fly on, um, really just because of the temperatures, um, keeping as much of the heat in as possible, but, as you can see, I got, you know, back, I got really tons of room. Um, so plenty of room for my cot and uh, for the dog. And if, even if I had, you know, like my son is coming tomorrow, he'll sleep in here. Um, plenty of room for that, um, which is great. Um, the only downside, which for the winters, as you can see, obviously the walls are pretty much all mesh. So it, this is more of a three season tent, especially here, more of a summer tent for me. Um, so in the winter time, this will be um, a little bit more of an issue for cold weather camping, I think. But um, anyways, we'll see how it works. Um, I will, uh, once we get up in the morning, I'll make breakfast and um, shoot some more footage tomorrow and see how we do, but um, don't have any more plans, but expect any end to show up sometime um, tomorrow during the day and we'll see how that goes So uh, catch you in the morning. Good night Ooh, Good morning It's a balmy 34 degrees <laughs> Much colder than I thought I was gonna get last night. It's actually kind of uncomfortable. I definitely uh, my sleeping bag is um, I Got to get a different sleeping bag for this kind of temperature. It wasn't comfortable But I survived uh, we got into camp uh, pretty much after dark, so I wasn't really able to um, show much of that. But we are at LBJ. Uh, we're very pretty much on the same loop that we were back in April. This is off of uh, Forest Service Road 904 or 908. I can't remember. Um, but this is a very open area, quite a few spots, and. Uh, other than one person camping in our area, this it, it's pretty much empty, I, which surprised me because the weather is going to be so nice this weekend. But I guess uh, maybe the cold, it was going to be colder than people wanted. Hold on a second. There's uh, active hunting in this area during this time of the year, so you'll potentially hear gunshots. That's what that is in the background. Uh, I've been coming out here for a couple years. Um, there are quite a few trails um, where there were more campsites. Here's uh, this whole section. Um, they blocked off, I'd say about mm, a year and a half ago, two years ago. Uh, you can see this is actually a, a, an actual vehicle trail. And in this area back here, there were campsites as well, but now they're, you can't really access them. Um, and I talked to the ranger, I think, when was the last time I was out here, maybe. And the biggest problem was um, uh, people coming out here 
in this in this particular area where we're at right now um, if there's any kind of rain you'll have uh, it's it'll get kind of pretty muddy and there's there will actually be standing water um, if it's a heavy rain and people were coming out here with their vehicles and just kind of doing donuts and tearing it up um, so they obviously blocked that off to stop that from happening which means they cut off access to this actual very small loop um, back here where there are campsites which is unfortunate because there was a couple that were pretty good that I wanted to camp at but not really an option anymore so that concerns me because um, if there continues to be this kind of abuse um, in this particular area I just feel like they're gonna shut down more stuff um, and this is really <laughs> the only dispersed camping um, within cl close proximity to DFW so um, and it's very small so it's not like there's a lot and it's you know let's be real um, you know it's, it's a very tiny it's not a national forest it's just a grassland so um, if you're in this area and you come out here please 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 take care of this um, so they don't shut down more of these trails from from access he is so happy and excited to be out here can't stand just not sitting around being able to run free <laughs> and of course marking everything possible that he can I don't know where it comes from he hasn't been drinking that much open got a nice nice trees there comes the dog hold on just settle down um, got a nice view at the back here with the fire pit so this is our setup. Making um, egg McMuffins again today. Didn't show that last time. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah. When I was at Martin Lake, I showed you this. Um, this is what I used to cook the eggs in. I didn't actually show what I did and how it works. So I'll, I'll do that this time. Um, but it's pretty much, you know, standard egg McMuffin. It's got a English muffin. Uh, bacon, cheese, and the egg. And that's pretty much it. It works great. So I'll show more of that in detail this time. When you cook this, you know, you leave it in place. You need to grease the insides of this ring. Um, bacon grease works well, and then when it's cooking, you know, it will stick, and obviously the top isn't fully cooked when you flip it. So you're going to have some egg that falls out, drips out, but that's okay. But I can just kind of move it around a little bit to kind of keep it loose so it doesn't completely stick. It's not quite ready, and you kind of have to ballpark it when you take that off. Um, I kind of wait till I see the top sort of bubbling so I know that it's pretty close to cooking through. But, and uh, you obviously don't want to burn the bottom. So you can kind of see, I just flipped this one, so it's gonna still cook on the bottom. It was a little bit, but that's all right. It works pretty well. There we go. Cool. Poppy green. No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> He's just fucking with your ball. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh! Oh! That's one. Yet it doesn't touch. So it's closer. And then... <laughs> nice. 
dude. Oh my god! Whatever. Yeah, it's eight to two. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, eight three. Yes! <laughs> yes! Ooh! I don't like this game anyways, so... No. Uh, completely destroyed Rob in that round. Came back from a huge deficit. And I completely annihilated him. I'm calling you Rob the Humble. Right? Last, last minute uh, brilliance, so great game. <laughs> the trail doesn't look, look like it's really been. No, honestly, if this is a trail or not. It's more of a runoff stream. Um, pretty heavily eroded where there's curly water going through here uh, but I have seen people with their horses going back through these trails so I'm not sure maybe we missed the turnoff or something but uh, not really sure the mini lightning did strike here. I mean that tree for sure looks burned oh yeah it looks charred yeah crazy man maybe lightning did strike here I mean this whole thing is I mean, I don't... Well, this, this stuff has been burned, so... Hey, man! What the hell are you doing on my site? That's my food! You're knocking out my stuff! Hey, Paps! Pepper! What are you doing? We just finished uh, kind of a late lunch. Um, those burgers that I cooked, I actually got that um, that uh, idea from a TV show. My wife watches this uh, woman who cooks on TV. Um, God, I forgot her name already. What was it called? Anyways, it doesn't matter. But anyways, the uh, so that that hamburger is like basically it's a potato bun, and then you cook the the uh, onions, you add a little onions, or the uh, you glaze the onions, you add a little sugar to those onions, and let's set those aside. Then I tried to um, cook some frozen steak fries, uh, but I d bought a different brand this time, and um, they didn't cook in the frying pan well at all. Um, I'm not sure why, they just came out kind of greasy and soggy, so that didn't work out, but they were, you know, it was all right. And then you have grated um, cheese and put that on top. Of the onions as the burger is cooking and it all melts and kind of holds it together so the burgers turned out great it was a really beautiful day super relaxing uh hanging out and uh just um, enjoying the weather and going for a little hike and just basically relaxing this weekend so um and the fact that there's almost nobody out here i was i'm really really surprised i just expected a lot more people to come out on such a nice weekend um, so maybe this is a good thing because now um, for winter camping I can come out of here more often um, on kind of the spur of the moment um, So The other thing I wanted to bring up too which because is completely um, Unexpected for me is uh, in the last like three weeks um, I've gained like 14 subscribers and there's you know people have been commenting and it's just awesome. I never really expected 
um, when I created this channel, I just I created it to share my camping videos primarily with my family, um, and I just didn't really think anybody would you know really care about watching. So uh, I just want to thank um, the people who have subscribed and wa watch my videos and, and comment. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm just kind of kind of do what I do, and so if you like it, that's great. Um, I really appreciate the interaction. Uh, if there's things that you would like to see me do. Um, Feel free to comment and kind of let me know if you want to see me do something different, but um, I'm just kind of satisfied with just general camping around Texas and Arkansas and Oklahoma. That's kind of my thing and then hiking um, Short hikes on the weekends with my dog and that kind of stuff. So um, And every once in a while I'll do sort of a more bigger trip like the one we did in Big Bend last February um, But it's you know harder to plan those kinds of things because of work and it, you know all that other stuff. So uh, but anyways um, Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. And I just heard uh, YouTube's taking away the thumbs down. So I think you can thumbs down, but it won't show publicly. But if you don't like this, thumbs down it. But if you like more and want it, um, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.